Hi, this is Jim and Guru from Tekken 5 and uh, today we're just taking a quick look at the Nokia Maps which has actually been ported over to the other non-Nokia Windows Phone 7s from XDA and uh, I'll put a link in the description later below. So let's get to it. Well, here's Nokia Maps. Basically, it's the alternative you will be able to get on your phones to Bing Maps in the future. And uh, the one thing I've noticed about this is there is no landscape mode right now. But like I said, it is being ported, so you won't see quite that. Uh, it's fairly basic so far, but it is a nice alternative to Bing Maps, which you will find. Uh, let's just take a quick look at some of the options. Okay. Or not. There you go. It's uh, like I said, it's a little bit weird right now because it's just been ported. Uh, it, it'll be a little slow. It's not the official version. When the official version comes out from Nokia, it'll definitely be a lot better. But for now, I guess it's just to make do. So as you can see, there are three different map options you can get here, which is the map, satellite, and public transport. The one with the map is the map you just saw right now. Satellite is the one with all the building images and so forth. Public transport, you'll be easily able to see public transportation lines. So let's just click that one. So if you scroll down, as you can see, public transportation is right there. Makes it a lot easier. And I guess it doesn't want to do that. Oh well. Anyway, let's go on to the other things, uh, which I do like. Let's quickly go to settings. And you'll see you can just take our zoom controls, use your location, uh, units metric, and if you want to help Nokia with this, you know, to improve the system. One of the things I do like about this is sort of like Bing Maps, but it seems to be a bit more accurate on terms of things you can find. So if we just click on places, it'll look for popular destinations around your area. And I should, pardon me. Go back to that. It was just because I was zoomed out right now. If we just take a big wide image or something like that. And then you click on places. It'll start populating the area as you can see right now. It don't, doesn't seem to be that many. But here you can scroll down, you can see the most popular uh, I suppose attractions around here. You can explore by category as well. And uh, back to Poplar. So, fairly basic, fairly simple, but useful if you want an alternative for places where Bing Maps doesn't work so far. This should be coming out to most Nokia phones and you shouldn't have to port it. Uh, unfortunately, the only way to port it right now is to either have a Chevron unlocked phone or a developer unlocked phone. Uh, if you don't, you're just gonna have to keep on waiting, I guess, or you can just Go ahead and put down the $99 for a developer unlock. 